what is up guys lamb chop here and welcome to my channel uh, right now I'm currently building a PC specifically a gaming PC so that I can set up my dual PC stream and what I did was I ordered a bunch of parts off of Amazon and I'm gonna be putting it together and uh, this is gonna be an unboxing video of all of the parts that I have and that um, I ordered um, what I did was to get all my parts and know that they were completely compatible, I used a website called PC Part Picker, and I highly recommend it. It was really good. Um, what I did was I put everything together, and the website won't give you anything that's not compatible. So, um, when I had everything that I wanted, I just searched everything up on Amazon and ordered it from Amazon. That way I got Prime, and so that it was all coming from the same retailer. That way I don't have any complications in the future. And um, yeah, so this is going to be an unboxing video. My next video is going to be me and two of my friends uh, building the actual PC and we'll show you step by step how to do it. And then the third video is going to be um, once my PC is already built, we're going to set up my streaming PC with my gaming PC so that I have a dual PC stream. And a lot of times, most people when they have a dual PC stream, they will use um, an Elgato for the PC, but I have an Elgato for the console, an Elgato uh, HD. It's not the HD60, it's the normal HD. And uh, for a long time, like I couldn't figure it out. I used to try to use like two laptops, you know, money's tight. And uh, it wasn't working because I could get my gaming, uh, the actual game to, to pop up on my stream, but the sound for the game wouldn't pop up. You could hear me talking through my mic. You can you could uh, see the game, and, but nothing else. Like it was just the game and it was mute. So um, I'm gonna figure it out. I know you can do it now, but a lot of the videos on YouTube, there's only, I've only found like one and it really didn't help that much, but I'm gonna try and use it and I'm gonna make it like, I'm gonna break it down and make it more simple for you guys. So stay tuned for that. Uh, that will be my dual PC stream video. And right now we're gonna start unboxing the uh, the actual case for my PC is an NZX S340 Elite, like ATX mid tower case. It's really nice. It's um, it's actually uh, tempered glass. So the the see through part isn't plastic. It's tempered glass, which is a really uh, you know, it's a plus. It's actually a lot nicer. Um, at first I was like, oh, what's the difference? But my friend said that you can actually see a difference. He has a gaming PC that he actually puts together too, and he's one of the people that's gonna help me put this one together. So uh, let's start unboxing. All right, so here's the beauty, the big box. It is like pretty damn big. I thought that it was gonna be smaller, but oh well. Let's uh, begin unboxing this. S340 Elite Mid Tower Case NZXT. This thing looks beautiful, man. The box is really good looking. I'm gonna put this down for a second. Get the box out for you guys. All right. So, this is the front of the box. That was the back of the box. So it's a really nice box, honestly. Um, this is my color right here. It's red and black, not just, this is the black on black one. And it looks like that's just a little uh, thing to hold like a headset. Um, that's actually like virtual reality glasses that they have on there, but I'm not gonna be doing any of that stuff. Um, so let's open this up real quick. Let's see the actual case. Okay. 
there's a PC case. It's uh, packed very nicely with the styrofoam to hold it in place. That way uh, nothing happens to it. So let's just take it out of the case. I'm gonna set up the camera like right here so you guys can see me take it out. on it but this is the tempered glass side it actually looks really sweet I really like it it's awesome so it has a fan on this in the back obviously like every PC and on top uh, it has four USB ports and an HDMI a headphone and then a microphone and then I don't know what that little thing is it looks like this button right here is the power supply button so that's gonna light up nice uh, once everything's put together I get I got styrofoam everywhere man, but yeah um, This thing's looking really sweet. I'm gonna put it on my desk and show you guys how so right now my desk is actually really messy, but uh, let me this. But this is what it's gonna look like so my laptop's probably gonna be here and The beast is gonna be here. So it's looking really nice where it is. I, I, I really love it and uh we're gonna move on to the next item all right guys so now we're about to open the monitor and my keyboard it finally came in i've been waiting all day for this it took so long right too long too long bro i've been up since like six in the morning all right damn bro back to the one hand let's we'll start with the keyboard so So I got the Corsair K55, it's really nice, as you can see it lights up different colors, LED. Alright, so it looks really nice, this is it, Get out of the plastic for you guys. It's a nice size keyboard, I think it's perfect size for my desk. As you can tell, it comes with the number pad on the right side. Most of them, some of them don't. They yeah, got the yeah. If you want one, make sure that. Mm. And it comes with have this. So. Six different macro keys that are programmable on the left side. Lit, or whatever you want. Lit, lit. All right. So we're gonna open the monitor. The Asus. What is this? I don't even. I don't even remember the name. I'll read the name on the front of the box. BG two forty eight. Yeah. LCD monitor. This is a 24 inch, uh, 144 hertz, hertz, and it's heavy. All right, so this is the monitor. It's really, really nice. Can't wait to turn it on and use it. So this is the stand. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, so it's- yeah, you just turn it and then yeah, the base turns. is on the inside. So, there yeah, is. So, so here's the base. Oh, it has a nice like, emblem on it yeah, too. 3D. Hey. Yeah, I used to own this monitor. So that's what the base looks like. Clean. And then it comes with a disc and stuff like that. For the Instructions. Drivers. And here's the ports to connect it to your computer. So yeah, we're Sweet. gonna set everything up. Cool. Yeah. Here we go, boys. Get it. 
obviously, but yesterday we unboxed my PC case. Today we're unboxing the motherboard, power supply, and everything else besides the monitor and the keyboard that comes in tomorrow. But again, it's all gonna be in the same video, so you're not really gonna know. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start now. My crib. All right. So I put a hat on because my hair is messy as fuck and I forgot. It was unexpected. The UPS man came out of nowhere. Like, shit was weird. But, alright, we're gonna get to opening this. It's uh, alright, this is already cut. Yo, how did he tape this up? What? Shout out to my boy Shane coming through. He's the one videotaping right now. Yo, what's subscribe good? To his YouTube channel. It's gonna be like right over here. Shane Vlogs. Probably not in focus, but it's whatever. Alright, let's put this to the side. Damn, bro. Look at all this. It was PC. Straight up geared so right for now, days. We're gonna be bro. pretty much building his PC for him. Alright, so. With him. So this is the power supply. I have a good next 650G Supernova. 650 watts. Got my motherboard, the Asus Strix. Hold it up. Z270 Zo Gaming, or what? Z270E. I mean, oh, this is a motherboard. All right. So then we got my uh, CPU cooler. I got the Corsair H100 IV2. Um, it had really good reviews, and it was like pretty cheap. It was only like a hundred dollars, I think, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but everything will be in the, the description below. So, okay. I think this is, I think this is, no. Okay, this is my Intel Core i7. This is, I wanna say it's my hard drive. This is my RAM. And then this, the beast. The thing that makes it all happen besides the motherboard, the Strix Gaming Graphics Card, Asus, GeForce 1060. I got really good reviews on this too, so I decided to go with this. At first I was gonna get an MSI, but my friend Danny said, I'm a faggot if I get MSI, so I decided to go with Asus, because Asus is the best thing ever. All right, so this is my uh, SSD card. Uh, you just this is just extra storage. I think it's a terabyte or two terabytes. I don't remember though. Two, two, two. It's two. And then yeah. All right. So that's everything. Project in high school or some shit. We're good. Yeah. To record it. Just oh, chill. All right. Fine. It's gonna be too hard for you to do both. All right. So now we're gonna go into the unboxing of everything individually, and I'm gonna like you know show you guys everything one by one. So we're gonna start small to big, just to work up the hype. I can't get it open though. <laughs> Give me the scissor. <laughs> I knew I put the scissors here for a reason. I could open it from the bottom. I don't want to break the box. I make opening so hard. All right, so this is Corsair Vengeance RAM. I got eight gigs because I didn't want to spend too much money on RAM. This was about like 50 something dollars. So that's what it looks like right there. It looks pretty nice. Um, yeah, I mean 8 gigs. I might upgrade later on to 16. Well, I'll, I'll probably definitely upgrade All right, so now we're gonna open the solid-state drive or the SSD uh, I got two terabytes because you don't really need much more than that. I don't even know if they come They probably do come with more memory, but yeah, so I went SanDisk um, You can get any other co company. There's a lot of them But you know, I just chose this one because it was cheap and I'm not spending too much money on memory when I need to spend money on more important stuff like a monitor and a graphics card so I don't even know how I'm gonna open this I don't want to like 
It's not the ripper truck. All right, so this is what it looks like out of the box. It's not too big. It's about you know two by three inches. So um, if you're just wondering, that way you know about the dimensions and you know how you want to fit it into your PC. You should not have a problem doing it though. This is just uh, the the Windows Windows 64 bit Windows 10. So I'm not even gonna open that. There's really no point. The power supply. Okay, so we're gonna start opening this right now. I hate opening things like this in plastic. It's so hard. You have scissors for a reason. I don't want to cut the box, bro. It's so pretty. So this power supply got really good reviews. My friend Denny, who, oh, damn, who's coming to help us build my PC, uh, this was his power supply. Like, I didn't get it from him, but he had the same power supply. But he upgraded eventually. So there's the box out of the plastic. Has a nice little cute handle. How can I be able to do this? A, there it is. This is like a little instruction manual, I'm guessing. Oh wow, it's nice. Jeez. Alright. I'm supposed to get this out. So it's packed really nicely. Um, so, just so you know, these things are handled with care. This is what it looks like, you know. It's just basically like any other power supply. It's all the plugs and whatnot. Shoot. Almost didn't even see this stuff. All right, so here's like all the plugs so that when you're uh, plugging things in, can actually get power. All right, what should we do next? All right, so here we have the actual processor. I got the Intel Core i7. This isn't the one that you can overclock. The one that you can overclock ends with a K, just so you know if you're looking for one to get overclocked. You don't really need to though because a lot of people order overclocked processors just so that they can say, oh, my processor is overclocked, but you can shorten the life on your processor. Basically, not by much, but you know, I, and most people don't even need it, honestly. So I just went with the normal one. It's cheaper. You don't need to overclock it. People just do it to be fancy. <laughs> What's so funny? Yeah. <laughs> What's so funny, dude? It's just you. <laughs> Cut it, bro. Cut it, dog. Why'd you start laughing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking clown. Bro, I can't. I can't do this. Can't. They make the most complicated boxes for these things. Is it? No, it's. I know it's upside down. But like, look, it doesn't open. I don't want to break the box. Oh shit! Hold up. <laughs> so simple. Yo, this looks like a little droid. Plastic, but for this one I will. Nah, this one's easy. Overstarting? Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. So I think this is my hard drive. I see. I see. Uh, yeah. The, yeah. This is the hard drive, huh? So I'll take it out. Will I get electrocuted if I cut it because it's static wrap? No, no, it's... What? <laughs> you know, this thing is heavy, dog. You can use this as a weapon and hit somebody in the head. But yeah, this is my Seagate hard drive. Very nice. I don't remember exactly how much it was, but it's two terabytes. And, uh, <clears throat> now, this is the CPU cooler. So we're gonna open this right now. Alright, so there's the box, not the plastic. I hate boxes, but I'm, I've always been so bad at opening stuff. Right. So it's this way, why don't you open it this way? Alright, 
right, so here's some instructions. Here's the actual cooler. And this tube is what has the coolant fluid in it. Um, it's kind of like the coolant in a car. So I, I read up on it and I was wondering if you had to replace the coolant and you don't from, for these. So just so you know, if you were wondering too. So it's actually really nice. I think this Corsair sign, you could make it light up different colors. I'm not positive, but I saw different colors lighting up in the description. So man, this is just an extra piece to it. I'm not gonna open that up. And then I'll take the fans out so that you guys can see what the fans look like. So this is what the fan looks like. It's very nice. It's gonna go really well with the PC. And yeah. Alright, so this is the motherboard, uh, the Asus Strix, I got a Z270, um, uh, Danny told me to get a Z270, I don't really know exactly why, I know that there's like 170s, but like your motherboard has to match like other stuff, so yeah. So we're gonna open this right now, oh finally a simple box, look at that, wow, so look, it's really pretty, I kind of... Don't want to remove the plastic just because it's a motherboard. I hope that you guys can see it pretty good with the glare, but that's what it looks like. Um, yeah, I don't want to take it out or anything until I actually put it together. So you guys will see it like clearer in the next video. But yeah, that's the motherboard. It's actually really nice. All right, so this is the graphics card. The uh, what is it called? I forgot what it's called. Um, the Strix Gaming Asus Graphics Card GTX 1060 GeForce. I said all the names out of order, but I don't care. Um, you get the point. So, uh, yeah, it's actually a really nice graphics card. Like I said earlier, I was gonna get the MSI, but I was told to get this. Yo, this thing is a box inside of a box inside of a box. This is the beast. I don't know, should I take it out? The, I don't want to take it out the plastic either. But hopefully you guys can see it without the glare. Three fans, it's pretty big, yo. It's like two pounds. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. Like legit, I was looking through the camera and basically looks smaller than in person. Yeah, it's it big. Looks it's big. Like, look how... Yeah, this is the size of his forearm. And he's a 6'1". He's like 6'1". Yeah. So this is it's bigger than my forearm. So that's just... And I'm 5'8". So it's, it's pretty big. So make sure that, you know, obviously use PC part picker. I know this could fit in my PC because I use that. So always use that. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. If you found the video helpful and enjoyed it, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you have any questions, you could reach me via Twitter, uh, email, or just leave a comment below. I'll leave my Twitter and email in the link description below. Peace.